Today we're going to be using PowerScripts from C prime to write a jQuery function that will allow us to search for nested issues, uh, starting with epics, finding the stories that are uh, in that epic, and then finding the subtasks of the stories in the epic. So I'm in my test project now, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and pre-created three epics, and underneath each epic I have three stories, and then uh, underneath each story I have three subtasks, so all in all quite a few. So let's try to create uh, a jQuery function to to grab those and uh, following the hierarchy. So I'm going to hop over to the sill manager where we're going to create a new script. So I have my script already created in my sill manager blank script jQuery nested search dot sill. And the first thing we're going to do is in the script is try to grab the the main level epics. So let's just make an array, a string array. We'll call it epics. And let's um, figure out how to select those issues. We'll use the select issues function, which will allow us to run a, a jQuery query, but we need to enter that. So I'm just going to hop back over to my project and I'm just going to use this to build the, the query and we'll say and type equals epic and that should give us a, a good place to start. So we have 57 epics in total. Okay, that looks good. Now what we want to do is loop through the epics that were returned and pull all the stories out of those epics. So um, I'm just going to say for string e in epics. So this will give me each epic one at a time. And we're gonna st we're going to create we're gonna create another array to hold those stories that we're about to try and grab. So we'll just say string stories, and I know we'll also need one for the tasks or subtasks. So we'll, whoops, uh, I got stories on the brain. String tasks. So we want to grab each story in the epic and the way we're going to do that is um, with the linked issues function. So I'm going to make yet another array just to hold the results. Um, th this array will be the, the stories for one epic and we'll say all linked issues is the function we're going to use and we're going to pass it the parameter um, the key uh, of the ticket which in this case will be e and the link type which is epic story link then at the bottom we're just going to add those stories to the main um, to the main story array up top. So we'll say stories plus equals that temporary array. So here we're going to loop through all the stories and try to grab the stub tags. So we'll say for String S in story. Same thing we did with the epics. 
Okay, so for each story, we're going to try to grab the subtasks. So same way we did before, we'll say string whoops, task equals. We're going to use the all linked issues again. This time we're going to pass it S. And this time the link type is going to be Jira subtask link. So that will grab all the subtasks for each story. And then at the bottom of this, just like we did with the stories, we'll say tasks plus equals task. All right, so our epic array already has all the epics um, that we're going to be looking for because of this jQuery search here. The tasks array gets added to here. The stories array gets added to here. So now we have three different arrays we need to combine. So we'll just build off the main epics array. So what we'll say is epics equals, and we'll do an array union, which will basically take all the results in each of those array fields and combine them. So first we'll start with epics and we'll combine it with the stories. And that will smush them together back into the main epics array. And then we'll do it again with epics. And this time we'll use tasks. And then we're just going to say return epics. And that will tell the function to display the results. So let me say, OK. All right, so our script has a little bug. And it's because I typed in the name of the function wrong. Should be select issues, not selected issue. And looks good. So now I'm going to hop over to the C prime documentation and I'm going to copy this little sample jQuill that shows us how to call the function we just wrote. And we called it nope, jQuill nested search dot sill. And that was in my test folder. Okay, so it returned a lot of results, more than what we were hoping to get. And the reason is there are a lot more epics in this project. So I'm going to um, combine this with um, some normal jQuill and I'll say, um, I just want those that were created recently. So we're going to combine my script with regular jQuill. Now we have 39 issues, which should be exactly right. Three epics, each epic has three stories, and each story has three subtasks. So that is working correctly. So one of the things um, you'll notice is this test 
that we're passing in this sil jQuery list function. And it's actually a parameter that um, was was the example on the C prime site that um, I didn't use in my script. And it's very powerful because it will let us um, reuse the same script in many different ways. Um, so one of the things we can do is replace the project name that I have here with an argument. Um, oops. I believe that's it. Um, which will replace it with that parameter. And then we could use it for different projects. So theoretically, that should work exactly the same. There you have it. And that's how you search for nested issues using a, a custom jQuery function. And I just have to add that when I first learned about this functionality just a couple days ago, I was really, really excited about the um, potential uses for this. Um, you really have a tremendous amount of flexibility in how you select the issues with the SIL script and putting that into a jQuery function that can now be used to power dashboard gadgets or uh, scrum boards or um, swim lanes on, on the Kanban board is, is just it's an amazing amount of flexibility that a function like this gives you and I'm really excited about it and um, thanks for watching.